Hi, and welcome to this short video, an introduction to variation. So, what is variation? Well, we know that all vertical lines on the chart point to true north. But we also know the magnetic north is not at the North Pole. In fact, it's moving. The difference between them is called variation. So, how do we calculate variation? All charts have the information needed to calculate the appropriate variation for the area. From this, we can convert magnetic compass bearings to true chart bearings and vice versa. Essentially, we need to know two things. Firstly, what was the variation in a given year? And second, what was the annual change? Both these pieces of information can be found on the compass rows. How do we interpret the compass rows data? The two pieces of information are written along the arrow. In this example, magnetic variation was 7 degrees 20 minutes west in 2005. The part written in brackets tells us what the annual change to variation is. In this case, eight minutes east. Using this information, we can see that it is 13 years since variation was seven degrees 20 minutes west and has an annual movement of eight minutes east. From this, we can work out that variation has changed by 104 minutes since 2005, i.e. eight minutes times 13 years which equals 104 minutes. We can convert this to whole degrees and minutes by dividing by 60, as there are 60 minutes in every degree. This comes to one degree and 44 minutes east. As the change since 2005 is east, in other words, opposite to the westerly variation, we need to deduct one degree 44 minutes from the 2005 variation to find out today's value. 7 degrees 20 minutes minus 1 degree 44 minutes equals 5 degrees 36 minutes west. Now we know how to calculate variation, how do we use it? Well, simply put, we are trying to align compass bearings with true chart bearings. Firstly, we would only use whole degrees. So 5 degrees 36 west minutes becomes 6 degrees west, as this is the nearest whole degree. Remember, there are 60 minutes in a degree. When the compass is pointing at 0 degrees, due to, due to the magnetic variation, it's actually pointing 6 degrees west of zero degrees true. In order to align the true and compass bearings, the navigator therefore must alter it by six degrees.